Yeah, what's good? It's your boy Cadillac Jackson in the city of the worst team in baseball. Season five, episode six. And for the people that don't like seasons, episode 34. OG. Hey, the man. Where's my super suit frozen in the building? What's good? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So never uh, gave you niggas an off week. Wow. <laughs> Yo. Wow. Uh, yeah. It's your man Beard Jedi, <laughs> a.k.a. the Black Alice B. Keaton, a.k.a. Shoebox Shakur, a.k.a. the Boss Kick Ross, a.k.a. Iron Knight Tyson, a.k.a. Deacon Discount, a.k.a. the Undercost Boss, a.k.a. Black Sock Gang Gang Gang, and the a.k.a. that matters the most, Jack Swagless. This is Talking Kicks. This is season five. This is episode six. And we only have one more episode for y'all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all told us you were doing eight weeks and then three weeks off. You said it every fucking episode. Well, last week, nigga, real life shit happened. Boo, you guys suck. Ain't, <laughs> hey, hey, some of these schools ain't no makeup for the snow days, nigga. You just lost a day. And that's what happened. You lost a day. So we got one more episode next week. But OG's about to tell y'all what's going to happen on that episode. We're closing out this season with something special. OG, let them know what's popping. Family, do you remember? Let me take you back, 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 back. Episode one of season one of Talking Kicks. We kicked off a giveaway that was just insane. I think we're still financially recovering from this. But uh, one of the giveaways in that first season of Talking Kicks was a 100% free custom to the winner from Des Customs and Creative Custom Kicks. And next week, you're going to see that custom live. That's right. Des Customs will be in the, in the building. And one of the kick talkers who's been with us even before with the other show. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let me. <clears throat> Come on, OG. When we had Soul Food Sneaker Talk, <laughs> he right, was down with hey. us then. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> wow. Ricardo Bonner will be joining us live with Dez and the new custom. And we're going to talk everything customs. I think uh, we might have some other customs that pop up. I don't want to fool it, but you don't want to miss it. It's going to be a dope episode. You guys know Anytime Des comes through, uh, the conversation is always lit. We get the chance to, you know, see uh, some behind the thing, behind the scene things going on about the custom game, uh, custom game, and uh, really, really looking forward to it. Excited also to have uh, one of our kick talkers join us, uh, that being Ricardo Bonner, who was the winner of that custom. So next week, it's all customs. Don't miss it. Y'all know what we do. I don't know why I have random programs opening up on my computer. This is lovely. This is lovely. <laughs> lovely. Thanos, I can see where this Thanos is going. Is in the building. <laughs> Thanos is already in the building. That's it. <laughs> Shit just opened up. Um, so, again for y'all, wrapping up the season, we're going to have customs. We're going to have Dez. We're going to have Ricardo Bonner talking about his custom. We're going to talk custom, custom, custom. We're going to talk a whole lot of shit. We're going to wrap the season like we normally do. And uh, that's what's popping. Now we got the business out of the way. Oh, almost. I see we got somebody in the chat. Let me make sure we get this out of the way. <clears throat> make sure you go to Footage Society and use Talking Kicks in the discount code and you'll get 10% off your purchase. That's T A L K I N K S E K S at FootageSociety.com. Now that we got that bullshit out of the way, <laughs> <laughs> we about to do roll call. And I know that y'all could choose any church, but y'all chose this church tonight. Hashitashi, thank you very much. Hashana Bobo Bobo, should about a Honda. Let's get into the roll call. GLS Kicks, how you doing, fam? T Satch, aka Love My Kicks 25, aka Be Healthy 0365. Yo, <laughs> you can't you can't put all that as the name in the end with yo, bro. You, you can't do that. But what's up, family? Q the Queen, look, you. We had to revoke your pass. You cannot come to the show for the last episode. We were going to have you on, and I decided that, you know what? We don't need Q up in here. Why don't we need Q up in here? 
because she's here every season stinking up the joint at the end with her canary pits, and we're not doing it this season. So next season, we'll close out the show with you. This week, this season, we're going with Dez. That's it, final answer. We're going with Dez. Actually, Q the Queen didn't call me the next morning, and I'm mad at her. That's what happened. Call me, Armin. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Jamie White is in the building. Make sure you save some shoes for other people. I see Kyle Park 81 is in the building as well. We got Artez 501. What's going on, Tez and family? Taking pictures of the lovely babies. Lars Young. Yo. I don't know how you made it to the show, bro. You ain't got no shoes left. I saw the boxes. I saw the boxes, brother. Yo. Lars, Lars been working, working. I ain't never ever seen nobody move shoes like this. That brother had a truck full of shoes going out. He did. He did. He's one of those. He called the post office and they showed up like Nick. <sighs> can you imagine <laughs> being the person like, hi, welcome to USPS. How can I help you today? For day old morning, for day old morning, I got these boxes that I need to send out. <sighs> I'm on break. I'm on break. <laughs> Tanisha! Mm -mm. You got to take them around to the back yourself. You got to take them yourself. I'm not doing that. I just got my nails did. I'm not doing that today. Take that big ass truck and bring it around to the back. I don't care, Mr. Young. You could drop them off where you see the open bay. You know where it is. You always uh, do this shit. You always do this shit. Don't nobody care about your little shoes. <laughs> shit. Uh, we were a tad bit disrespectful. Q the Queen is in the building. OG sneakers. Royals. <laughs> but you're still not coming on for the last episode. I'm sorry. That's not happening. You should have called me the next morning. I feel some kind of way. Gabriel Kicks 23. What up? What up? What up? With the Vulcan sign in the chat. Uh, Cadillac Jackson. Um, can I help you? Cadillac Jackson. Uh, can I help you? Cadillac Jackson number 45 said that you have to like the fucking video. We're sorry. The nigga you are trying to reach <laughs> has been disconnected. I wish that the Google Hangout thing worked because that would be under my tag. Because <laughs> it's going to happen at some point in this show. Ooh. I know it's going to happen. Uh, B. Frank is in the building. B. Franklin's Kicks. OG Kicks is in the building. The Soulmates, a.k.a. the Martin Gina of this thing. We're actually talking about y'all this episode. So Send it. Send it. Up, up and away. We got 804 Kang of Phones and Jays in the building. Woo. What's going on? I saw you with the orange and gold today, bling blinging on them, bling blinging on them. 804. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go any further, yes, I'm sir. over the silence for the Baltimore Orioles. Okay, so what happened? Please tell me what happened. Fuck them over the silence. All right, they Did they, get rid know, of they, everybody? they got rid of Machado. Right, I saw that. Um, they got Which rid of what's is, the other dude's of name? Offense. Well, they got rid of the other ten percent too. <laughs> But they did this before. Like this is not the first time for the Orioles. Like they uh, they retool. They'll be back in seven years. <laughs> y'all still have a beautiful stadium. That's all I got. That's all I got. My shoe game tight all day, all night. What's going on, peepas? Welcome to the show. I see Baltimore Tay, aka Tay Baltimore. I see. <clears throat> tuck, tuck your shirt in. PR Nicole is in the building. Tuck your shirt in. Oh, oh. She, she pays the bills around here. Uh, thank you for coming to our show, boss. We appreciate you. Absolutely. Sit your little mustache check. down. Enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't getting no special love. I see Sneak King quotes is in the building as well. Who else did I miss? Who else did I miss? Uh, Ricardo Bonner's in the building. Ricardo Bonner, man. We will be glad to have you join with us next week. Thank you for coming through. Mr. Bear 76 is in the building. Mr. Skinny's in the building. Salute, my brother. And Don Turner, what up, what up, what up? Good job on getting the 13s. I'm sure we'll talk about that in releases. And I think that is it. Is that it? Show enough? Yes. Kamal Williams, did I say your name if I didn't? Welcome to the show. I saw you on Instagram. I am now following you, sir. So thank you for being in the show. We appreciate all y'all. Like I said before, you could be part of any congregation, but tonight, <laughs> tonight, you well, chose well. us. You chose us, and we're going to pass the collection plate 75 times. I'm watching everybody's hands. If you don't put nothing in the plate, it's something on your fate. Rhymes. That's what's happening. You Did you call Big plate. Hurt in the building? Oh, now look, Big Hurt, look here. 
<laughs> every week we have to have this intervention. Every week we try and talk to you. And I've seen some shit on Big Hurt's page that makes me laugh. And I saw a video the other day. Everything was, was good. And then he showed a nigga committing suicide. Now, I've seen him show some other shit. But which when the dude which reached, one? Which one, right? Not, not the tall drop, because we've seen those. That's from Faces of Death. But when the nigga leaned off the patio, on off the balcony, and touched the electric. Oh, bro. Mm -hmm. And we had flambe nigga. Mm -hmm. OG, did you see it? No, I didn't, and I'm I'm glad that so, I got some of them. Yeah, I, 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 I tend to be like, okay, I, and we scroll up. I can't watch that. It's, it's some of them I do. I, I just anticipate that something's coming that I don't want to see. Later. And I'm like, okay, yes, I'm just a bitch ass nigga. I cannot watch this. <laughs> <laughs> scroll up, <laughs> dude. The dude touched the, the and he was dead as soon as he touched it, and it started firing him up. But he he was there. It wasn't no place for him to go. So he just got cooked until his body wilted, bro. He just. Bit backwards and fell down. His uh, feet caught on the, fire. Did you see the one who was working on the wire and he touched it? Oh, yeah, he was. Bah! Oh, yo. <laughs> felt like uh, Looney Tunes. Mm. <laughs> that little powder. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Big Hurt, I'm going to need you to fix this shit, man. We can't. Now, the one you did today with the brother in the wheelchair getting his life, I appreciate that because I know that that was the first time. He had ever had somebody sit on his face like that, and I think that he was happy. And it was good that you shared that moment for all of us. It was good. Oh my oh, god! What about the person in the shower with the brush? Okay, now look. <laughs> that was just odd. Mm. All I can say for that is at least she washes her ass. <laughs> she what? She's trying. It's a lot of people out there that don't try. Yeah, facts. Okay. I, I mean, Cadillac like Jackson's shirt is actually white. Really, nigga? Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought I could get these jokes in before you get married. Have dude. that. Have that. Have that same energy. energy. I know. I know. I got. Have that same energy. I got like three weeks to get these jokes out, and then I'll be fighting two people. I just got to get. <laughs> I got to get them in now before it's two people fight. That's all True. I'm saying. That's all. That, I'm saying. that fight you'll never win. I know. So I just want to get. It I ain't never gonna win it. <laughs> exactly. So I gotta go. But you signing up? But you signing up for it? See, there's a difference. On my own, <laughs> in this way. <laughs> the tire pop was brutal. If y'all don't follow Big Hurt, go on Instagram. Follow Big Hurt. Uh, watch yourself. Guard your life. Yes, don't I agree. Public, I, agree I don't with, know what to tell you. I agree with Artez five hundred one. Big Hurt, for reals. You need Jesus. You just put your hand on the computer right now. <laughs> hey, why you bullshit? Jesus didn't play no games neither. He was turning people into oh. and shit. Jesus ain't play. Yeah, Jesus, <sighs> Jesus ain't play at all. He's like, don't turn around. Don't turn. Oh, not, you did. I told you not to turn around. That's it. So, oh, don't y'all gonna be y'all gonna be gambling up in my church? That's what y'all wanna do? Throw all this shit away. <laughs> Delete all this shit, Pinky. Delete all this shit, Pinky. Put some the nails in my hands, son. I'm out. What's these nails gonna do? What's these nails gonna do? Shit. So that's what's up, man. We in here. We in here. We in here again. If you like the show, go ahead and hit that like button. If you don't like the show, don't hit the like button. Let us know how we can be better. And if you don't really give a shit and want to leave that dislike, hachi tachi. You still watch. Your fault. So we're going to get into this, man. Y'all know how we do. We got our pickups. We got a hump day heat. Let's go ahead with the hump day heat. I don't even have mine out right now. That's my fault. So let me get mine. OG, you go first. All right. So this is actually a double down because. My hump day heat is actually a pickup as well, but it, it is the Jeter uh, Lowe's, excuse me, the Respect 11 Lowe's, uh, Jeter Lowe's, whatever you want to call them. I just thought I'd rock them today. So, yeah, did the uh, lace swap with the white laces. Mm. Uh, not my original idea. I can't remember who I saw uh, the first time they dropped, did this. But when I saw it, I was like, yeah, if I ever get those, I, I kind of like that. So, yeah. The little white jeans on today with the Jeters and the white laces. It's a good looking shoe. I like that lace swap. That's a good job. Whoever you got it from, that's a good job. Um, chat, post up what you got, what you got, what you got. Oh, uh, Cat, what did you wear today? Uh, today I broke out the. Oh, you dirty motherfucker. Katrina Ooh. threes. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Hall of Fame three. Whatever, man. Oh, okay. Exactly. 
Right, Y'all bro goes out today. Uh, kept it light today. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad look. Uh, I posted up a little, little puss ass pic today. I finally wore the Bel Airs with the shirt you see in the background, the fresh kick shirt. Ooh. with the with the lace the lace work on here. Uh, I like that lace touch. work. Felt pretty fresh. Felt I like pretty that lace fresh, work. I, I did dislike your picture, but I I like that lace work. That's okay. I still ain't shit, but the shoes look good. <laughs> the shoes look good with the lace work. I'm stepping all on the extra lace. You know, that purple lace is all under the, the insole of the shoe. I had to get that tuck job in. Not that tuck job, though. But no hate. You hey, know yo. Hey, I'm just letting them know. It's hey, 2018. Yo. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Appreciate that PR Nickel. White Cement 3s, 88s. Uh, whoever got Five hours lacing them shit. Shut up, GLX kicks. Let me live. <laughs> <laughs> Let me celebrate, Skip. Yeah. Concord loads for GLX kicks. <laughs> Who else had on some heat today? Custom North Carolina phones for Big Hurt. That's what's yeah. up. I think that's what we got today. Send yeah, me a pick. I... What you talking about, 804? Bruh, I'm... And and I was mad at this picture because of the laces and the fact that you was picking your afro. And that thing of ball pose. For a bald headed <laughs> man to have to look at that picture just really cuts me to the core. And that was my best uh fashion nova. I was inspired by the resident model of the crew, uh G4 Vision. So I decided to get some lean pictures in and all that other shit. We'll I was gonna put on a tight ass shirt, some of titty nipples to show, but I decided not to do that. You take another DXL picture like that. <laughs> <laughs> you better let me live. That's from the Winston Box Collection. <laughs> the triple black flyknit vapor max ones. That's what's up, Lars. Had on the money makers in the rain. That's what's up, hot dog. Yeah, I, I thank you, 804, for cleaning it up. I appreciate that, bro. How many poses did you try? So, mate, you know what? I don't have a lot of effort for that shit. So the first two pictures were money. The shoe pictures, those are money. Now, the pose, when I tried to lean up against the wall, that was about four pictures. And I said, fuck it. If it's not done now, it's too hot to be playing out here. Whatever I got <laughs> is what I got. <laughs> so that, that's what it was. That's what it was. The only uh, a couple got... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you good? You good. Go for it. I was just going to say only a couple people uh, posted up in the TK Hump the Heat today. Uh, head, heads ain't ready. Um, hitting them with um, chlorophylls. Ooh, I like those. Yeah, Yo, I heads ain't ready was on um, talk sneaks. Um, and it was a it was an enter, it was a dope look. It was a really dope look. You can't see it no more because it's in his Insta story, but it was it was a good look. That's an interesting brother, man. Appreciate so, you rocking with him. GLX kicks. Uh, you scared me more than hey, Big Hurt in this picture. I'm just saying. I'm um, woo, yeah, but hey, 47s yeah. and 11s, huh? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Those those are beautiful GLX. Those are awesome. Those are amazing. Beautiful kicks, sir. Love those shoes. That I, I do too. Please don't, don't want no problems. <laughs> None. None whatsoever. KB Fresh Kicks out there with nice. them wool. I still ain't found those and wanted to find a, a price that actually works for me. I right. want them, but uh, it's a hundred degrees out here today. I'm just saying. I'm just thinking. Where is it? Like really, really, really cold, or is it just it don't matter? It's just the optics because the shoe is not going to be that much hotter. Like it's just a little thin ass piece of wool over the overlay. But it's well, it's it's a dope shoe. It just looks really weird when it's a hundred degrees outside. I got you. For for me, the, I I don't know if I had a chance to mention it on the show or not, but I have. Um, uh, I'm not gonna be pulling out those Sean Werther spoons until it gets cold, because them shits are hot, bro. That little <laughs> uh, whatever material velvety stuff that they have on the insole, that yeah. shit keep your foot cooking, and that's some real corduroy. Imagine it having on some corduroy. Corduroy don't mix. Yeah, mm, bro. It woo. It was too much. Too. Look at a. Uh... Look at Hopdog. Hopdog said he posted up, but he didn't put the TK in front of it. Ah, yeah. So Disrespectful. Hopdog 18. Clearly, Disrespectful. clearly, clearly, clearly. There we go. 804 blinging on him. Yes, yes. Blinging mm -hmm. on him. Rest in peace, Orioles. <laughs> they got a beautiful stadium. Uh, let me see. I think Artez, 
Arte said he didn't get the memo that there was a hashtag going on. Oh, really? Now, look, now we understand that this is a small community church, okay? <clears throat> We're not as big as some of the other churches around here. But God damn it, you're going you gonna to respect what we do around here. Respect this storefront church. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be talking shit about us because the offer play go around in two seconds. Ah, uh, love my kicks 25. With the, what are those? Uh, fire red? Fire red threes. threes. Yep, with two the lace swap. Dash. With the two-tone lace swap. Okay, Black on one side uh, and uh, red on the other. I ain't mad. Uh-huh. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We got all right. anybody else? I think that's the last one for today. So, you know, y'all know what to do. Uh, if you uh, post up your hump day heat picture, uh, make sure you tag it with TK hump day heat. And, uh, you know, we're going to do what we do. We, we trying, man. Our test said I was going to say, is for cutting the album cover down there? What is that? Bro, I don't know. Let me see. Mm. No, he our test threatening us. Call the police. Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Call the police. My name is OG Sneakers. The dude in the mess jersey <laughs> name is OG Sneakers. And the dude in the black hat's name is OG Sneakers. Wow. Look OG Sneakers ass. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we got our pickups. If you need addresses, DM me. <laughs> <laughs> right. We will send you a DM for that. We don't want no trouble. Now you tell me. Hey, that's what it is, man. We got our pickups. I know we missed a week. We had that 30% off. I don't know if any of us got involved with 30% off. I did. The story's way too long to tell. So I won't get into that shit. I'll just show my little, my little funk ass shit. Well, actually, I'll go last. I'll go last. We'll go with Caddy first this time. Sure. Well, what did you pick up last week, sir? Well, I had week before? I had two pickups. The first one is the Black Levi's Fours. Oh, okay. Where's that? <laughs> Disappear. God damn it, you black magical nigga. Yeah, sold them shits. <laughs> <laughs> so disrespectful. <laughs> you, you didn't even offer them to me, huh? You didn't even offer them to me. You just sold them on StockX or something, huh? Sold them. So disrespectful. I thought we was brothers. I got I got something else coming up soon. The second thing I picked up. Well, I'm out. So I picked up the Don C312 Legacies uh in that green colorway. And the nigga actually... you were trying to reach is no longer available. <laughs> and it's actually really, really nice. It's actually uh really really nice i can't front i was i was a little worried when i when i got them but when i opened the box i was like oh yeah these will work these will work definitely a dope shoe yeah that's a bad one i'm mad i missed that but i'll probably be on stock getting them mm -hmm. it's grail season so I'm, I'm waiting i don't know if they reached that status yet but those are goddamn dope caddy my interpretation but don turner said you ain't shit Sounds accurate. Sounds accurate. Cuter Queen says she's jealous. Them ghosts are ill caddy. That's from KB Fresh Kicks. Uh, Hop Dog picked up the Black Levi's, another pair of Tinkers, Ooh. and the BC3. Damn, it was it payday? Mm. You get some tax, tax money come in? Mm. Damn. So are the medicine ball joints only friends and family, or did they release in? They're I supposed to be having a release later on in August. OK. Mm -hmm. Um. And it's probably going to be very limited. Lovely. Lovely. What did you pick up, OG? Um, you saw the Jeters. Right. I actually did get a um, a pickup from the outlet. I have been watching these. I forget what they, uh, the specific name of them, but it's a Air Force One mid uh, that has like the cord out sole. So it's much lighter and actually a little bit more comfortable on the foot. And this is a very comfortable shoe. I, I mean, it was overpriced. I, I want to say it was like 150 or something like when it first came, but I ended up getting these for 40 bucks just for, you know, something to uh, jump in. And like uh, when I was out with the fam last week, uh, I wore them like two days straight and mad comfortable. And actually the leather that's, you know, around the toe box is not uh, really bad. Um, it's like one of those KD shoes where the laces are just there for looks because you really don't need the laces, the shoe, the way that it fits, you know, it has that, uh that mesh thing stretchy whatever you want to call it going on uh very comfortable shoe and for 40 bucks i just couldn't leave it in the store that's what's up 
Um, and the only other pickup that I had was I saw that damn 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 box top. No, you didn't see no box top. I saw that damn box top. I should have went first. You bastard. The sucker for gum bottom. I did not sell mine on StockX, even though the black is not black. It's gray. It's washed. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm glad I have these and. If I can't get any of the other ones, I'm I'm actually good with this. I really am, because as long as those blue ones stay five six hundred dollars, I'm not gonna have them. So, are you keeping them OG? Or are you gonna distress them? If I were to distress these, I'd have to get another pair, because I want one pair that will stay like this, and just okay. however it naturally wears, let it wear. My only thing about distressing the black ones is that normally the first thing that I would think about is bleach. And you know it actually turns a really kind of yellowy orange color. Yeah, uh, not too wonderful color when you hit these with bleach. I don't know that I like it that much. Wow, oh. gotcha. so, that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean I I saw the one that we had in our chat where the person just went, in my opinion, overboard with the bleach. They just went mad crazy. Most most of the shoe was bleached out, and maybe just seeing that kind of turned me off from it. But yeah, if. If I did distress these, I, I would I would want to just go go back and get another pair. And the, the price is kind of in a more reasonable range now, so I actually could you know I could see myself maybe doing that. But that's it. That's all I got. Look at this. This should say Hop Dog got an eight hundred credit score. Let me find out. Hey Hop Dog. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred credit score make a lot of shit happen. <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, let's see. Credit score. <laughs> Jamie White got the he got games in the off white off white Prestos. Hold on, sis. Mm -hmm. Yes, what? she did that. She hit the, she hit on the Prestos the other day. And Holy I remind shit. you that she also hit on the off white uh, UNC joints too. She might be having sneak ahead of the year kind of shit going on right now. Mm -hmm. This shit is crazy. Uh, Artez called him the Ashy Fours. Uh, <laughs> the soul mates picked up the he got game 13s. That was a double up. They did a video. Make sure y'all check them out. Just like it's spelled, the soul mates on YouTube. Holla at him. Uh, he got games another bread 11 for Artez. Air Max Pity One Orlando for Mr. Bear 76. Yo, if you saw his picture, them joints are clean. I I need those in my life. I need to find those. Which hey, one? Mm. Which one? one? The air, the air penny ones, the Orlando uh, colorway, the loyal thirteen. So eight hundred four, King of Phones and Jays got uh, a custom by Malcolm Garrett, who was a dude who did my uh, royal toes, and he turned his royal thirteens into black thirteens. Yeah, those were like dope Kentucky too. Colorway. Dope, dope yeah. job. Malcolm Garrett does some dope ass work, and he's quick. So make sure y'all check him out. Um, let's see who else we got. Kai 54s. Is it Kai or have we figured this out yet? Is it Kai, K, or Kwai? Does anybody know? K. It's K54. All right. Mm -hmm. Mr. Skinny had on the K54s. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. So Sports, Sports Guy Q says he had an accidental pickup from StockX. Uh, what was it? What was it? Yeah, you know. Let spill us know. The beans. Spill the beans. Spill the beans. Um, so 30% off. I found somebody who had another little coupon. I got that one, and then Nike hit me off one. So I had two. So I went out to the far outlet. I found two pair of shoes. I was trying to get another pair of shoes for somebody that didn't have my size. Came to another outlet. They had the shoe. It was kind of my size. It was a little bit too big. I started putting the feelers out there, saying, hey, maybe I can get a size swap in. Found them on Index PDX in my size. So I returned all the shit I bought. So, <laughs> <laughs> so all the thirty percent and the driving I used got returned because I got the shoe that I wanted, and I didn't know that I wanted this. But this is, I, I guess, it's Grail season. I call it Grail season. I got them Hollywood Brian things. Oh, so I saw them LeBron at the first James. outlet. LeBron James. I saw them in a the size eleven. They didn't have my size. Went to the other outlet on the way home. They had them in size fourteen. I said, mm. all right, I can do a 14, but I really can't do a 14. But for the price, I can do a 14, my nigga. It was like $106. And then I came home and I started putting the fillers out there saying, hey, I need to get a size swap in with the Index PDX. They had my size, and it actually ended up being about $20 cheaper to buy that one pair than to buy the three that I bought. So I took all that shit back, and I got these. Um, 
haven't put them on feet yet, but this is probably one of the shirts that I'm going to wear with it. Uh, it's a weird color, but when you put these motherfuckers on, they hit. Mm. And I had on some gray mm. joggers. I was, I always got on gray joggers. I had on some gray joggers, and I put these motherfuckers on. I said, "Oh my god, oh my god!" And I almost tried to put on that eleven. I was like, "Shit, let me go back and get this 11. Um, What else did I pick up? So, y'all got to see these. Wait, that's not. That's not mine. Wait, <laughs> it looked like this. Oh, we wow. got the swap done. So this is the ooh, Reese ooh, Dunks ooh, ooh, with the red sole. That's the second pair because I am doubling up. Uh, and I ended up getting the swap done. So cold, so, bro. bro. I thought you was keeping those for next week. Hey, yo. Yeah, oh, this man. Is, this shit's a this fire, is, boy. This is part of the custom. This is part of the custom. So that's that's the sole swap on these. But the custom's not finished. Can I? Should I show a progress shot? Come on, man. Come on now. We, we locking I mean, in. Y'all did the Levi's and shit, so I got to do that. Um, Great joggers of Texas. Your ass trying to die. Look, Dre Day Kicks, let me live, okay? Let me wear my goddamn Great joggers, okay? <laughs> shit. Uh, and welcome to the show. And I went to the distressing. Ooh. And, uh, <laughs> they came out sick. I was like, yo. yo, now this is... The tongue doesn't take to bleach like the rest, so I'm going to have to put in a lot more work. But this is me and the Dremel going ham. And uh, once yeah. I got into a place I wanted, I just started pouring bleach to see what happened. And this shit is sexy to me. I don't know what y'all think, but the band right there, sexy. And I still got more to do with these. I need to do more with the tongue. Um, I need to do more with the back to smooth this shit out. Um, I don't know. That once you put laces over the top of that tongue, I think <laughs> that that darkness in the tongue kind of breaks out. You know, I, I, I ain't mad at it, to be honest with you. You're going to do denim yeah. laces? I think I'm actually going to do off-white laces to match the yeah. midsole. Yeah. Um, and, and I mean, this is a hella custom. The custom in the the actual insole on the Reese's, the stock insole, is green. It's green insole. Mm-hmm. This ain't green, nigga. Mm. I'm all in, son. I'm customed out. Mm. So... Let me know what y'all think in here. Oh, that is so fire. This is only one shoe. The other shoe is not done yet. Yo, that is and so fire. I, I held up the other shoe. The other shoe is not done yet. This one's not done yet either. I'm going to do a little bit more to it, like the back. I want to finish up more on the back. Wait, but, the inside, did he change that out too? Well, you know, when I got the donor, I, I did a little research and found another insole to go with it. <sighs> Got the coordinate, OG. You got the coordinate. <laughs> you know I, I ain't mad, man. That thing, that's for real, for real, bro. That hey, you got the coordinate. Bow down. That that shit is dope, bro. Oh, that shit is so yeah. fire. I appreciate it, man. That was my first time trying this shit. I didn't have a plan. I just went in with some stuff, and this Dremel. Look, Yo, let me tell y'all something else. You gotta name those. Because we didn't get it out in front of that name because somebody else is going to do that shit and they're going to say, oh, yeah, I, I'm the first person and they're not. Nobody's done that. So you got to, it's got to be the, I don't know. I don't even know what you would call it, but those are the Gene Jedi ones, goddammit. There you go. <laughs> I like that. Uh, um, if you're going out to buy a Dremel, if you don't have one, spend the money and get a goddamn Dremel Dremel. Don't get the Walmart brand or you got a Hachi. You got a Shrimmel? Yeah, I bought a shrimp and that bad boy didn't cut on at all. It didn't even cut on. It was like, fuck it. No, it said. <laughs> I said, wait a minute. I done plugged it in. I let it. I'm like, maybe you need to charge. Nothing. So I had to take it back and get the Dremel. And uh, yeah. You get the Dremel Dremel with the kit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I had to get the Dremel Dremel with the kit and get some extras and some sandpaper and hold it down. So yeah. Uh, I got them. So they're not done yet, Artez. When I get them done, done, I will definitely post them up, um, for real. But I'm happy with how that turned out so far. Ooh. Glad you went last. Ooh. Real. Fire. I can't, wait to, I can't wait to put them on and not do a fucking thing important. Just walk around <laughs> not doing shit. I can't wait to do that. Jacket. That's what we got. The jacket. jacket. Okay, that's a little. I'm a little yeah. too big for the, the matchy matchy. 
No. You know how long I would have to work to do a jacket in my size, nigga? <laughs> I need to start today. That shouldn't be done by October. <laughs> by, the, by the time you finish, you won't even fit that jacket. You'd be like, I don't lose the weight. I don't lose the weight. I hope you have me, The jacket's done. Let me go ahead and, and mail this shit off to someone else. All this hard work is done. I, I had some other shit I want to do with them, but I don't know if I'm going to do them. I got, I got a couple patches. I would go do some patches. Thank you, Sam. I got the crawfish. I was gonna put the patches. Thank you, Sam. I was gonna put a little, I put a little uh, tribe called Quest on there. Thank you, Sam. Put a little tribe on there. Thank you, Sam. Oh, but I I like the way it turned out, so I'm probably not gonna do shit. So, can you get the 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 Nike the SB tag replaced and put like Beard Jedi? I could, I could, and I might, I might do that shit. I got two pair. I got another pair coming. So, one pair might be the distress, and the other pair would be the the more lightly distressed. A little bleach here and there, and, and they'd be good to go. Um, but that's it, y'all. Y'all got to see a sneak peek. That is a sneak peek. Damn it, Collar Park. Next week we got the custom man on the show, so I got to have him finish. I got homework. I got to have a custom finish so Des can say that's some sucker shit. I hate him. <laughs> that's what I need to happen next week. You said that's some old puss ass shoes you got there, boy. And then I cry like a bitch on the show. Don't cry in the car. I'm gonna cry in the car, man. Cadillac Jackson, do you have some some coming releases for us? I do. I do have got? some releases. What we got for the people? Let me get this screen up here. And I need y'all. Uh, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive by my shit. I didn't see enough people giving me high fives and pat me on the back and liking the fucking video that custom work I did. All that hard work. Ooh, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they like me? All right. Up first, we have the, we're supposed to be dropping either today or tomorrow the Air Swoops 2 in the white and blue colorway and the white and red colorway. Now, if you don't know what shoe this is, this was Cheryl Swoop's shoe. When she played for the Houston Comets, I don't think they're a bad. She was just not for me. Is that so? That's a men's shoe. Is that? Is it it's a woman. Shoe? It's a it's a woman's shoe. Okay. Yeah. Well, then they're definitely not for me. Their, this is their retro. Q the Queen is gonna get both pair probably. She'll probably get both. <laughs> Um, how, let, let me let me see let me see let me see. God damn it, cute queen, we're not in sync. See, if you would have called me the next morning, the jokes would have been coming. It would have been perfect. I would have had you perfect. She only wants the swoops. We out of sync. We need to talk. <laughs> call me, all <Armin. laughs> Um, I like I like them, but this is just not doing it for me. Let's say what it really is. We I want to like the shoe because it's a woman's shoe. We want to love it, but we don't. It's not a good looking shoe. No, nah, I, I need the, it. I need the Lisa Leslie's or I need those female Jordan joints that came out that Charlotte Scott used to um wear when she was on UNC. And for Charlotte. the love of God, Nike, if you don't give Maya Moore a dope fucking shoe, I swear to God, just give her a dope shoe. Stop with the bullshit. Yeah, stop. Just leave y'all and go to Puma. Stop giving her kids shoes. Up next, we have the yeah. Nike Just Do It pack. We have the Air Force One Low, the Air Max 95, and the Air Force One High. Okay, they've just done it too much. <laughs> it's too much now. It's too much. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm kind of feeling that 95, but I'm a sucker for Air Force One highs. <laughs> These are carpool lane pass. That's what Sean B said. Wow. I, I need the highs. Uh, but they'll probably hit outlets, so I'll wait. It's it's too much. You had a good thing going, and it's too... And now oh, yeah, you they, got lazy with it. Yeah, now they, they, they overdid it. it. Fuck it. No, they over, they the definitely overdid it. Video. When they did the Air Max ones, they, they were money. When they did the little patch okay. Air Force ones, they were money. Yep. When you did the Air Max 97s, 
and then did another pair of Air Force Ones, and That's then did much. that just do it in the, the typewriter font, and then much did now. the sandals, and then did the hoodie. <laughs> And now, <laughs> and now when we walk in the outlet in October, the shit's gonna be orange. The whole fucking store is gonna be orange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's agreeing. I guarantee somebody's gonna make those highs into some uh, just do it uh, shatter backboards. Guarantee. Oh, guarantee. Oh, that, that's not gonna be cute. No, it's not. I'm not saying it because I think it's gonna be cute. I'm saying it because I know somebody's gonna do it. Ugh. Yeah. Next. Next. We have now. This is rumored. August third, off white Presto Polar opposites release. Those look like socks. <laughs> they look flat out like tube socks. Pass it for me. Said fifteen hundred dollar tube socks. Yep, I'm good. This My is wife has a pair of white Prestos, and every time she steps on a dream, she swears they're dirty. If I clean them Prestos <laughs> one more time, I'm laughing the shit out of somebody in Nike. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it, bro. Yeah, the all black ones were, were the those basically were the way to go. Yep. These, <laughs> these, these one wear pairs. KB says he needs them. So that means that KB will have them. Uh so may say flip action. I, I hear you there. KB Never get them prepared. If, if KB gets them prepared for the most fire pick of all time. Uh, you know, always. Regular prestos reign supreme. And, and that's the thing. Like regular prestos, ain't nobody looking at them. But you put the goddamn zip tie on these hoes, and niggas is falling out the street. Oh my God. Oh, okay, well, prestos every day at the outlet for sixty dollars. Y'all not buying them shits. No, we need them to look like this. Like we need them. Socks. They even put them on the outside and rip them apart, and then they're good. Put air on it in quotations with a white outsole. I like people to see my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we have the Air Jordan 5 International Flights. Mm. I ain't got shit to say on these, man. I'm, no. I'm drinking my water. I'm a chalice. I'm nah. a I need to get a chalice. Can, should I get a talking kicks chalice? You should. Yes. You, should. You, you know the funny thing about these are that you want them. These remind me of the ceramic Jordan Sevens because oh. they're because they're off white. They're, they're like an off white uh, cream color. Mm -hmm. So I might pick these up, but once again, I think these are going to hit outlets. You and when they do, you're gonna get them. I shall be there for them. Mm, the, the chat is passing like a motherfucker yeah, on these. A mad no look pass. That's me. I don't. The the soul kills it for me on these. Mm. The, the black midsole. Mm. I probably still wouldn't buy it anyway. But the black midsole seems way too heavy for that shoe. Mm. It makes them look like an orthopedic shoe or something like that. So I'm I'm good on these, but. Caddy, if you need me to shoot that shot, you got another. I oh, know. No, no shot needed. Just <laughs> waiting for them to hit the outlets. Okay. Y'all keep saying that shit. Just waiting for them to hit the outlets. Up next, you already know what it is. The <laughs> Denzel Washingtons. Yeah. I got a pair. My pair is still great, so I don't need a second pair, but the shoe is dope. There's, there's nothing wrong with that shoe. Bag already secured. Yep, I I got my pair from 2013, so I'm good. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I have too many shoes now that doubling up doesn't normally make sense. I said that right after I showed two pair of Reese's, but <laughs> it is just that my shoe will be fine for the next few years. And by the time I need another pair, they'll probably re release, so I'm good. Yeah. No, I, I, okay. I did, I did, I, I did pick up on the early, uh, on the early drop, and uh, actually, I picked up twice because. The homie caddy looked out for me, and we actually bought at the same time. Oh, you got three pair of fucking shuttles Uh But no, uh, I, I canceled that order. No, nah, no, nah, we, 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 <laughs> we were able to return one, uh, but you know, I, I was prepared to to own up to my request. So, you know. like, you gonna keep them? Fuck no, baby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all, I, all I would have done is taken the receipt and went right to the outlet and be like, yeah. 
Yeah. I decided I didn't like them. They be mad about it, but somebody else is gonna be happy. Oh, absolutely. Return, they be like, hey, look what I got. And somebody posted up and like, look what's at the outlet already. No, nigga, it's a return. Calm down. Um, the chat is all over these. So this one's not gonna sit. I think these will be sold out. Uh, yeah. So if you want them, you better get them. Yeah, I think they're gonna be a pretty wide release, but I don't yeah. don't wait. If you're waiting for them to go to the outlet, you fooling nah. yourself. You fooling yourself. If you if you're in that that nine to to ten and a half eleven range, first day get your shit. Yeah, you just line up, do what you need to do because your shit's gonna be gone. Do 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 you guys believe like there's certain shoes like like if you if you're into Jordans, there's like certain Jordans that you have to have. Do you subscribe to that theory? So have you have to have meaning me personally or what I would expect from somebody who says they're a Jordan sneaker? Yes, either. Oh, the Requiem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh I don't I don't personally believe that anybody has to have any shoe for but. me. <laughs> but for me, I think that there's certain shoes that I will probably get that I don't that I won't wear. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I need to have a pair of the the playoffs, the playoff um 13s. I feel like I need to have a pair of those. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's required. I don't think that I'd probably wear that shit, but I feel like as a sneakerhead, I gotta have it. <clears throat> um, I don't think I need any fucking sevens. I think I have to have a pair of 11s, which is why I went back after I sold a pair and bought them again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Certain shit like that, I feel like I gotta have. So probably 11s, probably the playoff 13s, probably Jordan 1s, at least the bread of the Royals. Either one of those. Mm -hmm. um, no twos. Black cement threes. Black cement threes. Got to have black cement threes. And I'd be cool with those. If that's what you got, I'd be like, okay, you legit. I, as far as I'm concerned. Not that my two cents mean shit. But what about y'all? Are there, are there Jordans that you think people need to have? I think for me, you got to have either the bread or the Royals. Mm -hmm. Um, Got to have the black cement threes. Um gotta have for for me if you can get them gotta have olympic sixes hmm. olympic sixes sevens you could probably skip over eights you could probably skip over um nah. one late list is gonna whoop your ass <laughs> and you of my plates. uh nines Mm. I feel like I'm supposed to have the quote unquote Space Jam nines. Mm. I just don't like nines like that. Yeah, I feel like you should have the Space Jam nines. Tens mm. for me, tens. Uh, no, you know what? Yeah, Space Jam, Space Jam nines. Tens, you could probably say, okay, you don't have no tens. It's cool. Elevens, you got to have bread elevens. Yeah. If you don't have concourse, that's totally understandable. That's a hard ass shoe to get. <laughs> All right, Dre Day. A, later, bro. You give him a pass on the concords? Cause that shoe is hard as hell to get. It's not gonna be this year. If you end out 18 and you ain't got no concords, you're phony and a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking fraud out here in these streets, son. People gonna be tripling up, quadrupling up. You go see people. Come, I got I got concords for all seven days of the week. March they're gonna be like, I don't need all these concords. I'm just a bitch ass nigga. Be like, yeah, I'm out here. I wear my concords to the all white party, but they're not all white. I don't care. I just need to win, be. <laughs> what about you? Uh, many of the numbers that you all said are things. I I feel like you gotta have a pair of ones, uh, bread, or. Chicago. Uh, twos. Most people are going to pass on it. I'm going to say the red and white Chicago's. You, you need one. You need that. Black cements or white cements? Fours, red fours, or Toro fours? Um, fives. Wait, bread fours or Toro fours? Mm -hmm. Why the Toro four? I just that's just a, it's all red Jordan and it's iconic silhouette, you know, just in terms of the four. I can understand. You know. I can understand the bread fours, the Toros. That's that caught me off guard. Well, yeah. it's 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 a random, but yeah, I 
If I if you press me for one, I would throw the Toros out and I would say the breads, absolutely. Fives, um, probably black metallic. Mm, good call. Mm. Um, I've been passing on that one. I feel like I need it, but I don't think I'd wear it. But. For me, it's, it's the fire red, the original fire red five. Yeah. And the reason for I say that for me, you all know I don't really like five. So I'm going to pick something <laughs> random for that. Uh, sixes. Hmm. That's hard, but I would actually probably say black and for red. All right. <laughs> um, sevens. I saw somebody in the chat said the Raptor sevens. Eh, to me, you won't have to have no sevens. That's not. Hey yo, I just mm. and we definitely ain't gotta have. I'm, we ain't gotta have them short ass sevens either. Oh, for sure, for sure. Eights. Uh, hmm. I don't know. It, not really. Sorry, jump man. Sorry, uh, Lister. Why are you hiding behind the super suit? <laughs> Where is my super suit? <laughs> <laughs> I just this let let Frozone get some shine. That's all. Um. Uh, nines. I agree. Um, can't believe he got a statue of himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, GB, he been if I can't the- have a statue of myself in my own house, where can I have it? Oh, you've been doing walking three miles and shit. Now you're about to put on a spandex suit. <laughs> spandex. All spandex. I wish you would come out there in that frozen suit. Look, don't so give me no shit. You're about to be out here with knee boots on trying yeah. to save lives. I'll, I'll be copping that schmedium at Halloween and then putting it in the closet and waiting until I can actually get into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely Um, the Space Jam 9s. 10s. No, there's nothing there that you need. Um, 11s, bread or Concord? Um, between the two, I would say Concord. Wait, for 10s, would you, you don't think Chicago would be the Chicago's would be a, a pair that you need? I, I just, I don't really feel that 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 the 10 as a silhouette is that like iconic, in just in my opinion. So, I, I could hear what you're saying, like if you into 10s, yeah, mm. but it, I just, in terms of like. I think more in terms of the like certain silhouettes and probably I wouldn't say that the nine is so for the nine, it's really just that particular shoe because of the movie and the impact uh, for it. But I, I mean, I hear what you say. Everybody's saying steel tens. Why is everybody type of why are you saying steel tens? Steel tens. You know why? Because when steel tens drop, I remember when I got my pair of steel tens, and I got the ones when I when I was a kid with the cap with the cap on them. Right. Um, okay. Which actually yeah. to me is the doper one to have because that's the one they recalled because Jordan didn't like it. Yeah. And so I got them as a Christmas gift mm-hmm. with the cap on them, and I thought those were so dope. And mm-hmm. I beat those bad boys into the ground. I was wearing those to school like every other day, like. Got these steel tins on with every outfit, wasn't matching nothing. <laughs> had on my the people said had that. on my, my, my boss jersey <laughs> with the matching jeans. <laughs> and boss jeans back there, boy. Hey girl, look at my boss jeans. Look at the label, it's right there on the zipper. <laughs> Mine say boss. Dad. Well, Q said a good one though. She said taxi 12s. Good. Taxi 12s are a good one to have, but Cherry 12s. Mm. Cherry 12s was, is the move. We'll be here all day fucking with y'all on this list. What's the <laughs> next shoe, Caddy? The last shoe on the list is the LeBron James John Elliott icon. This is a reimagined, re imaged silhouette of the LeBron 8. Hype, heat, or hell no? Hell no. Wow. For me, hype. I think the motherfuckers kind of dope. I want to say heat, but they look like they see through. And but that see through shit got Now, here's the thing here's what LeBron said sets them off. Supposedly, there's a sock that goes with it. So every time I wear the shoe, I got to wash the sock? 
I don't think so, but there's a sock that sets th- that's supposed to set this shoe off. I wear black socks anyway, so I think that my black sock would look okay in that shoe. I actually like it. I think it's a good looking shoe. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, I, I'm gonna say heat. I'm gonna say heat. I think it's a good looking shoe. Mm-hmm. I think it's a good looking shoe. August fourth. It definitely has a lifestyle feel about it, Don yeah, Turner. It is definitely a lifestyle shoe. You are not about to put this on the basketball court. Come on, William. Say, who cares about a damn sock? Tell them how you feel. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't hold back. Tell them how you feel. Is that the last one we got? That yes, is sir. the last one we got. So we're going to get into some of this lace up. We're not timing it because fuck it. We only got a couple minutes left anyway. Got minutes so. And we only got a few topics. So we're just going to roll with the flow. We want y'all to be engaged. We miss y'all. Please feel free to comment. We're going to try and read the comments and rock out with the show how we do. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I got to set the timer. I can't do it without the timer. The timer is like the fourth person of the show. I got to do it. Hello, All timer. Right. How are you? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, you stupid as shit. <laughs> and, and you? To the kick talkers, uh, anybody who is going to, who wants to write a special obituary for Caddy, um, send it to me and I'll make sure that we post it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Siobhan's going to watch this and give you a call later. <laughs> ah, make her watch my it. phone is ringing right now. <laughs> he like, baby, go ahead and watch the show. About an hour in, uh, he said some shit. Say, so, yeah, um, watch it around the, uh, let me see, close to the 58 minute mark. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Danny Allen says some orthopedic socks will set those off. <laughs> uh, so let's get into this we don't every once in a while i want to try to i would love to do this every week i want to try and get topics that come directly from the kick talkers either videos that y'all did on your youtube or stuff that you posted on your instagram uh so this week we're going to start off the show with this because i think this is going to take a little bit of time <laughs> uh and i'm i'm with that I, it's a great way to come back especially with caddy rolling into his nuptials this is great uh, the Soulmates did a video. Again, make sure you check them out. They are not sponsored by this show. We're not sponsored by them. Damn it. Uh, but make sure you check out Sneaker Connoisseur. Anyway, um, they did a, a video on their channel talking about their first date. And it made me think about dates that I've had. And more specifically, bad dates that I've had. So I want to know what the fellas. I'm going to start the clock, but we're going to let this roll until the topic's dead. And if this is the only thing we talk about in the lace up, y'all gonna deal with it. And we'll be back next week. Um, what is the bad? And I want one. So you got to give one. <laughs> what is the worst date that you've been on? OG sneakers. What? Keep real the names quick. anonymous. No, oh, no names. Uh, you, real quick, as a as, as a no, 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 no. Just as a background, this is this is when I lived in Iowa. That's so important. when I got on the stage, coach. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so real quick, uh, went to the door to pick up the person. Their parents answered the door. I had been talking to their parents on the telephone for any number of weeks and months. They always had cordial conversation and maybe four or five minutes of conversation before the young lady would get on the phone. They said that I I couldn't possibly be who I said I was when I showed up at the door and slammed the door in my face. That's in my story. You cheat. That don't count as a date. You said the worst. Well, that would be the worst. That, that that's the worst. worst. That ain't no date. There you go, Artez. Who lives in Iowa? That's that's a color. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly, when I was telling this story, there were at least four. But there are many more. More than you yep. would, th- more than you would expect, and probably more than live in some of the places where we live. He at the doorbell said, "Nigga, <laughs> nigga." Keep the door. Uh, we don't want your bean pies. Uh, can I help you? Goddamn huh? boy, whose door are you knocking on here? What you looking for? Who? You no, got you the picture. Had, Hi, my name, is o- the wrong- my name is OG <laughs> Sneakers. Oh yeah, well, who you here for, Mister Sneakers, sir? Um, I'm here for Diane. 
Well, look here. Diane don't like no sneakers. She don't like no black sneakers. Let me tell you what here. I don't like no black sneakers either. So what I need you to do is turn around, put your left foot in front of your white fucking colored foot, and keep that action going until you get the fuck out of my face. You, you hear me? You hear me, boy? <laughs> Damn, OG. I, I got to start learning to let OG go last. He be killing the shit sometimes. <laughs> Jesus. Um. All right. So yeah. Uh, that I'll go quickly. next. Yeah, that escalated quickly. Uh, I had a coworker. This is when I lived in Atlanta. I had a coworker. We had great rapport. Thought it'd be a great idea to go out on a date with us. She was cute. I decided to go out and show it up. And we, we were going to hit. Actually, we went to eat first. You know, we went to eat. We we're going to do a movie thing. So we went to eat. And as we're eating, she's a messy eater, and she had. This perpetual, she had a salad and she had a perpetual glob of ranch dressing here. Oh. And it was like, after I told her the fifth time, I was like, fuck it, I can't tell you no more. Hey, you got, oh, okay, thank you. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, thank you. Uh, okay, bitch, are you doing it on purpose? I'm watching you. Are you putting the shit there on purpose? Why is it the same spot? So I'm like, all right. This is horrible. I hate looking at people eat messy. That's just nasty to me. So I'm already like, this is fucked up. Conversation was whack because I couldn't help but focus <laughs> on the glob of may of, of ranch that just kept being there. It's just like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I turned to the dab of ranch. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? What do you say? Yeah, and she ate with her mouth open too. I tested. It was just a whole bunch of nastiness going mm. on. So I was like, all right, fuck it. All right, well, let's go to the movie. At least at this point, we're good. So we roll over to the movie theater in good old Phipps Plaza. Shout out to Phipps Plaza. Um, and we're in the car, and we're about to hop out the movie. And she's like, hey, you got anything for this? And I look over, what you talking about? She's got a bag of weed. <coughs> I was like, oh, well, I don't smoke. Um, but we're about to go in the movie theater. So that's probably going to have to wait. And why the fuck is it in my car? Um, but no, I don't. Uh, all right. So she put it in a purse. I think it's a dead issue. When we're watching the movie, I don't remember what the fucking movie was. But she decides that she's got to smoke this weed. And she's like, Did, do you think they sell anything? I'm like, no, we're in the fucking mall. There's nothing here. <laughs> like, this, this is before smoke shops. I'm like, no. And then we're in the movie now. Like, what? So she says, what do you think will happen if I eat it? Yep. Yo. Yo. So, Yo. We're in the movie and I'm thinking she's playing. I was like, girl, you silly. Nigga, she started eating the weed. I With the ranch dressing. She should have had the ranch dressing. <laughs> she should have had the ranch dressing. Oh, we, got, we got about 30 minutes into the movie and she's over there like, I gotta go. She'd have made herself sick eating weed. So we done had to leave the movie. <laughs> I had to take her back home. And this motherfucker no. is, she was so fucked up in the car, she had to call in to her roommate to come out to help her walk in <laughs> to the motherfucking house. She had ate that much weed that she was fucked up. Oh. Never spoke to her again. And I worked with her. We didn't talk about that incident. It was just like, hey, 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 what else can you say, bro? So that was, a, was correct. She was eating like a horse. Absolutely. Yeah. She had her greens. Yeah. She ate the weed. Um, that was absolutely worst date. Gone I had. bad. Worst date I had, bro. It could have been beautiful. It could have been beautiful, but no. Damn Can't you, like ranch dressing. <laughs> <sighs> I was just astounded that she had the shit in my car. Like, why the fuck is this in my car? Shouldn't you give me a heads up? Mm. Shit. Exactly, Hop Dog. We were in the theater at that. Like, we was already good. <laughs> Can't like Jackson. What is your bad date story? All right, let's see. So, back when I was single, <laughs> um, way I back, way back, way back, yeah, long, long time ago, long, long time ago, mm -hmm. I used to be heavy on MySpace, heavy on MySpace, like MySpace was like the dating scene. So I ain't seen this nigga's MySpace picture. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain something to you. My MySpace was popping. I had a playlist. I had 
animated. I had animated gifs on my MySpace. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. This kid can't make jokes in MySpace. Yo, don't make me bring that picture up, B. <laughs> Oh, shit. So I used to be on MySpace going hard body. So they used to have like these, you know, they had like the little MySpace dating and the little games you could play where you could buy people and stuff like that. And my, and you know, we'd be up there and on the dating joint like that. And I was like, okay, type in this person. You know, you type in a, a nickname, like let me type in Caramel and see who comes up within 25 miles of my zip code. Add, add, add. So, <laughs> so I met this. I met this young lady, and she gave me, you know, her her number, and um, her nickname was Luscious. And I was like, okay. I was like, okay, yes. I had typed Luscious in in the search and see who's within twenty five miles of my zip code. Hey, Luscious. It's like okay, so. We talking on the phone and everything like that. She was like two or three years older. And I'm like, all right, cool. So, you know, why don't we meet up? Okay, sounds like a plan, this, that, and the third. So I call her the next morning. It's like about nine o'clock in the morning. I'm like, hey, good morning. She's like, good morning. And I hear I hear a cup in the in the background with ice in it. And I'm like, what you doing? She's like, oh, no, I'm just having a drink at nine o'clock in the morning. She's like, oh. she's like, just a small one. I was like, <laughs> Okay, oh, none of my, my none, of, none of my business, none of my business. So I was like, I right, so I'm gonna come pick you up around eight eight thirty, you know. Ha uh, ha! I'm gonna come pick you up. So one of my coworkers, I was telling one of my coworkers, yeah, I got a date tonight with this girl I met off of MySpace. Her name is Luscious. She lives in Brooklyn. Where she live at in Brooklyn? Oh, she live on Blake and Miller. Nigga, she live where? On mm. Blake and, and Miller, on Gunshot Alley. It's like what? She's like, that's Gunshot Alley. You, like, no, you don't go over there. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. But me, be, <laughs> me being stupid is like, nah, I'm gonna go over there because, because that name Luscious. I'm gonna go over there, boy. I'm gonna go over there. So I call my boy and I said, hey, listen, I'm getting ready to go to this young lady's house, and um. Here's that. Here's where she lives at. If I don't call you by nine forty-five, call the police. And he's like, "Why?" And I was like, "Just call the police." I was like, "Call me back at nine forty-five." So I go over there. Now, mind you, this had to be two thousand eight. I'm driving a, a ninety-five Cadillac Fleetwood on twenty twos. Right. So I get over there and she come downstairs and, you know, she a cutie. And I'm like, oh, hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. We go we go out. We go have some food and we have the seafood restaurant. And they like, oh, you know, would you like anything to drink? She orders a pitcher of um, alcohol of this cocktail they have. So I'm like, all right. This motherfucker drinks the whole pitcher by herself. <laughs> so I'm like. Hmm. I, I had one glass of it. I was like, okay, well, I only needed one glass. You know, I'm designated driver. I'm driving. We go out to the city and she's like, you know, let, uh, where else can we go? And I was like, I don't know. You know, we'll go Lower East Side, see what, you know, what trouble we can find. She's like, all right, sounds fun. We go find this little bar and she's like, oh, you know, let's, let's see what we can get. This chick is now 10 drinks in. Oh, hell no. And I'm like, oh, so turns out old girl is a recovering alcoholic. She ain't recovered from shit. Who has never recovered. Yeah, <laughs> she ain't recovered so from shit. So now I'm in the bar with this alcoholic, and I'm like, hey, uh, sweetheart, we got to go. No, 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 let me just get one more drink. And it's like, you know how, like, the ratchet drunk was like, I just need one more drink. Why? Mm. No. And I'm like, oh shit. Okay. All right. All right. I, you, because what you're not going to do is embarrass me. I will leave you here. Good old MySpace. So I'm like, 
listen, um, it's getting late. Um, how about I, I, I drop you off? She made it to the car, fell asleep in the car, got all the way back to the crib, wanted a, a, a kiss good night. I was like, nah, nah, we, we good. Ooh. All right, all right. Never heard from her again. Yeah. Ooh. So uh, shout out to Luscious. Um, I deleted you off my MySpace a couple days after that. If you watch Dang. this, yeah, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they the alcoholic early and shit. I don't I don't like drunk people. I don't like drunk women. And Bro, that's why we don't not that's why in we the don't morning. fuck with Nicole from Fritter Society. <laughs> Nicole from Fritter Society is a drunk. I'm telling all the business. She's a drunk. And that's why we need y'all to go to Fritter Society and use the Talking Kicks discount so you can buy some shoes to support her habit. Okay? She's a drunk. All right? We need you to buy all the shoes so she can buy all the liquor. Listen, and, and anybody who was on MySpace back in the day, dudes is on MySpace trying to get it in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I got to put it. MySpace, Yahoo Chat, yeah. uh, AIM Black Messenger, Planet. Black Planet. <laughs> Mi gente. <Hey. laughs> that Bro. shit, boy. Mm. Bro, bro, going hard on MySpace. When I tell you my MySpace profile was legit. See, we we done talk clean out of uh, uh, OG's element now. He don't know OG ain't had no uh, internet girlfriends. This is you. You had a new one every week. You was like, hey, what I got to do? College club. Look at Sean B. Look, look at when, Sean B. <laughs> look, when Yahoo added a webcam, it was a wrap. <laughs> oh my God. When Yahoo added a webcam, I was taking the webcam pictures like, yeah, let me put, yeah, they had their little African-American chat. But see, we were so innocent with the shit then. We didn't really know. Like, when anybody was doing something extra, you was like, oh, shit, nowadays these kids, yo, they getting shit sent straight to their phones. Snapchats is people out here with their meet out, man. Look, it's, I could not be a kid in this era. I could not be a kid in this era. If, if I was a kid in this era, I'd be fucked up. <laughs> ruined, bro. I'd be ruined, ruined. by 12. Fucking done. There's no way. Yeah, college educated hoes. Hey, man, look at that. Tag. Look at Dunn's kick. Tags. Hey, man. The shit back in the day when it started popping. Woo. That bro. shit was a wrap. It's a bad day. I, I saw Montreal. He posted up T Real. Hey, T Real posted up one of his dates. And he said he uh, wore a pair of Pradas to take a girl from Spelman out, leaving the movies, walking down the steps at the Atlantic Station, shot at the Atlantic Station, busted my ass, cleared at least four steps, never embarrassed on the first day, never more embarrassed on the first day. Damn. Ain't nothing you can do but try and play that shit off. But you cleared four steps, you should have acted hurt. That's what you should have did was acted hurt. You had to come home and put some ice on your ass or something. Next thing you know, that's a new baby mama. That's what you should have did. But, you know. Nothing was a secret. Nothing is a secret in this era. You can be a hoe and it's okay now. It is. There are mm -hmm. so many people that I've seen on Instagram on the fitness pages that are put up. <clears throat> Here's my chat. Here's my Snapchat. Follow me for my private page chat. Hey, yo, what are you doing on the private? Oh, that's what you're doing on the private page. Mm -hmm. mm, wow. Yo, when you Everybody get when you get messages in your DM talking about, hey, listen. I was wondering, do you want to follow me on my... No. 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 Blood of Jesus. No. Blood of Jesus. All this Instagram. I'm not, pay I'm not paying to see you in private on a video. It's For what? what? Why, why is MySpace still up? They tried to reinvent it like five yeah, years ago. They tried to make it more musical where you can put music artists, things of that nature. But back in the day, though... My space was popping. My space was popping. This but it's like it's still there. But thought pockets. See my page. Hmm? I mean, you gotta somebody probably owns it. They they gotta make that money. They trying to oh gee, you, you got know, a MySpace page? Yeah. Oh. Let me find out before you got married. You was in there. <laughs> Like, nah, hey. it wasn't for that though. OG was in there, had his own little <laughs> intro. Hey, how you doing? This is OG Sneakers thinking of you. That's all I'm going to do. <laughs> 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 no. I hate you. <laughs> oh, 
As soon as the page come on, you're like, damn. Got to hit with the music. Listen, listen, MySpace, MySpace back in the day, I'm telling you, when I say I used to go ham on MySpace, it used to be, I would just type in stupid stuff. You type in a girl's name that you like, like, hmm. Hey, look. I need to find a bad chick named Gina. Let me see what happens. Hey, look, I found OG's picture from MySpace. (laughs) <laughs> nah, but that was actually when after. you're not here i long to hold you need if I, if I could if i could re- oh wait a minute here i'm, I'm gonna block I'm, wait wait oh, keep holding it up okay there you go well, why, you just 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 toss my governments all out there but it's all good this family they know the world i'm about to say the world knows this you can buy this yeah i know that but if you don't know that then you don't know that Right? <laughs> we, we will edit the show. That part will not be shown. Nah, it's all gravy. Even yeah. though it's printed to the entire Listen, world. If you, if you want a bad chick, you add it to your top eight and let us see it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be number one of your top eight. Sorry, mama. I'm putting <laughs> I'm putting this chick. Rebecca's going to be number one on my list right here. <laughs> niggas used to get offended about this shit. Like, oh, oh, I'm not in your top eight. Well, first it was top, it was top five. And then they expanded to like eight and, and then they and it ten. Six, yeah, it went to sixteen. Yeah, that shit, boy. People would be offended. Like, oh, I got you in my top three, but I'm number fifteen on your list. What the fuck is that about? This is shit. She... Look what y'all started, soulmates. Look what y'all started. Um, let's get into another topic. This again comes from one of the kid talkers. Pop Pop Lewis posted this today. OG presented it to the crew, and I think it's a dope ass topic. So if you had the chance to start your own news sports news show what oh, would be the three like anchors what would be the three anchors that you would choose to pick to start your your news show and oh, i really man. like this idea y'all so if y'all like this idea we'll try to keep it going every week we'll see if we can get a topic from one of y'all either and I, when i mean a topic from y'all i mean something that you've either posted on instagram or something that you posted on youtube um that we just take it from you organically. You know what I mean? The soulmates did that show, did that video. We thought it was dope. This topic, Pop Pop Lewis posted up today. OG found it. It's an amazing topic. Uh, so what three anchors would you pick? Cadillac Jackson. You watch sports all day. I think ESPN is the only channel on this TV. Who I would say number one would have to be Jamel Hill. Mm. Number two, she not on the list. I can't believe that. I just that, which which surprise yeah, that list. Yeah, fuck that list. I'm picking three that I want to pick. Okay, <laughs> I got um, you. Okay, yeah. Number two would probably be Shannon Sharp, and number three is my boy, and it's not who you think it's going to be, Jalen Rose. Jalen's Jaylen's pretty dope. Yeah, Jalen's pretty dope. So it would be those three, and I think it would be hilarious. Like one of the greatest shows, one of the the shows I love to watch is Jalen and Jacoby. Mm. Absolutely hilarious on that show. I see. I would probably go with Shannon Sharp. I think. Look, first of all, Shannon Sharp is a national treasure. Okay. He should be on TV all day, every day. I don't give a shit <laughs> if it's talking about sports or not. I love Shannon Sharp, okay? And that I'm, ain't I'm, no problem. I'm that secure. ain't no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm secure enough in my manhood to say that without any pauses. Mm-hmm. I love Shannon Sharp. Fuck you if you feel some kind of way about that shit. Uh, so I would say Shannon Sharp. I would say Jamel Hill as well, and which is funny that we both picked the same two. My third is either going to be Kerry Champion, because I believe that there's no better quarterback in the sports talk show game than Carrie Champion. She's beautiful at the way she asks the questions, presents them, gives her. I love it. Or LZ Grandison. LZ Ooh. is one of the dopest motherfuckers on TV. And him and Shannon would, would unite on some unapolog- uh, unapologetically black shit with Jamel Hill. And the show would probably be canceled in one episode. But God damn it, it would be beautiful for that one episode. So either Carrie or LZ to bring up the rear for that. Um, but I would go with Jamel and Shannon for solid. And everybody's saying, Stu, 
If Stu was around, absolutely. I would do yeah. a show with just Stu. Stu and Shannon would be amazing. Mm. But nah. If you took Stu, Shannon, and Michael Smith and did a show. They're not ready I for Michael Smith. Yeah. I love Michael Smith, but Michael Smith talks too much. But you know and what? Shannon talks too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that show would be a mess. And I love Michael Smith, but he talks a lot. And it's good, it's good shit. But like when if you see him watch uh when he's doing around the horn, when he's been hosting around the horn, he's damn near a guest. He gets into conversations, which is dope. But for that kind of show, for the kind of show I have in mind, it wouldn't work. I would give Michael Smith his own show. OG. So it's real easy to see why we're friends because Shannon was my first. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I was just looking at the pictures that he had, but absolutely Jamel Hill. So those two are a lock for me. My third is actually Michael Wilbon. Mm. <sighs> yeah. And as a, when Will Bond is away, I would choose Tony Kornheiser. Really? Yes. Hmm. TK's dope. I can't hate on that. That's the hard part is doing just three people. Yeah. Because there's there's a lot of I, good. I, mean, I, I, I just feel like. Again. Wow. That that's. You know, three sides of the same coin, all coming from slightly different directions, and but the. All together, it would just be just off the charts. I see a show that would never make it to TV, Kyle at Park 81 show, Shannon, Shaquille, and Sir Charles. That would be the Ooh. biggest fight ever. <laughs> that Can you imagine that? That show would never make it. That show would never make it. I could see Barkley up there now. Yes, that's Shaq, your fat ass. Move. You never. <laughs> you could have won more championships, Shaq. Shut the hell up. You. That's why you don't have any. That's why Shaq, you haven't done no. Oh, look, look, calm down, calm down. First of all, and neither one of y'all got abs and beautiful little Shay Shop. None of y'all got abs like Shay Shop. Shut your, your wide mouth, knucklehead ass whoa, up. Whoa, look, look. There's gonna, 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 the the gonna be some Wait, furniture moving. There's gonna be some furniture moving. I don't have no problem moving furniture. I got no problem with that, Charles. Come on with it so I can whoop your ass. I will punch you in your big stomach. I'll, I'll I ain't got no problem you. with you, Charles. I'll punch both of y'all in the face. Get out of here. Shaq, Nick, Shaq. you stay over there. I've seen your feet. Pick me. I've Morgan seen your morning. feet. Not Christian Lake. No, not Alonzo let me, Morning. <laughs> let me tell both of y'all something. How many rings y'all got? Charles, I'm not even talking to you because you ain't got no rings. Uh, Shaquille, how many rings you got? I got more than your lazy ass. Is that right? How many times were you uh, dependent on somebody else for your rings? I'll wait. I didn't depend on nobody. 28 and 15. You see the stats? You seen them? And and I got I'm Grammy nominated. If we was could, how many of y'all could play right now? I can play right now. I can play right now. Play me right now, hundred thousand dollars. Me and Goat James. Y'all knuckleheads can't play each other. Charles, you set your big ass up. If we're not playing in the coffee shop, you can't do shit. I'm not listening to you. Skip. Once, I, once I finish this Weight Watchers, you'll Skip, see. Once, I, one, once I, I finish I this have, Weight Watchers. Let me tell you something. I've been watching your weight. We've all been watching your weight, Charles. And I've been watching your mouth move. You know what? Let's go to commercial. I don't have time for this. Hey, Mango. <laughs> hey, you who? <laughs> <laughs> and see. <laughs> That show would never make it to TV. That would be a train wreck like a motherfucker. Bro. That would not make it out the pilot at all. At, at all. all. You do one pilot, they'd be like, no, we're not doing this shit no more. This, that shit wouldn't work. That shit wouldn't work at all. Boy, but you look at look at Park. <laughs> Cali Park said, see, point. this show is great. <laughs> <laughs> they have to do that shit on pay-per-view. It would have to be on pay-per-view for one episode only. <laughs> one episode only, boy, I swear. Uh, chat, who y'all got? I know everybody says Stu, so we all know Stu is a given if he was a, if he was able. But who else y'all got? Is, does everybody else have the same love for Shannon Sharp that we do? And Jamel Hill, does everybody starting their show with Shannon Sharp and Jamel Hill? Nobody's picking Stephen A. My <laughs> T. Will <laughs> said Gilbert Arenas, Shannon Sharp, and KG. I'm not putting mm. Gilbert Arenas on no damn show. 
<laughs> Unless you got a metal detector in the uh, in the studio. Listen, I'm Look, not, think there's no way I'm putting Gilbert on no show. Gilbert, Gilbert is out there, bro. <laughs> Look, Look, the soulmates. This is probably Marcus said this shit. I had a dream that Shannon Sharp was cutting my hair with a wave cap on. Clippers in his left hand and a bottle of Henny in his right. He kept saying, that ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen A. I'm surprised I didn't see any Stephen A's. I tell you, fuck Stephen A. That's how. Wow. <laughs> mm. Stephen A. puts his foot in his mouth too much nowadays. I agree. Yeah, it's a different Gilbert Stephen A. Gilbert Arenas has a show on Complex. Damn, Complex got everybody. Why ain't we got a show on Complex? Give it time. <laughs> Give it time. We'll be there. We'll and be I know it's in a small church. Uh, let's see. We got. We got like three minutes left. Do we want to go to the chat or do we want to try and knock out one more topic? We ain't giving y'all overtime all the time. Shit. We got lives. We got food um, to eat. People to punch. Do we want to have a, a brief uh, conversation about that 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 Bron thing? Because that probably won't last much longer, if at all. The uh, one caddy presented? Yeah. So uh, LeBron has been making the rounds lately, of course, because of the school. Shout out to the school. Uh, I promise school. We'll talk about that at some other, other point, I believe. Um, but he was the conversation he was having in the barbershop, first of all, is the most lit barbershop ever. Uh, <laughs> he was saying that one of the things he regrets the most is giving his son, LeBron Jr., a.k.a. Bronny, his name. Um, because it, it gives him some huge feet to try and follow in, some huge footsteps to try and follow in. And Caddy, you kind of this this topic resonated you for a particular reason. And what was that reason, sir? Um, because when he when he said it, it was like it was almost like he felt like he put the weight on his the weight of the world on his son. Because when you're when you're a superstar athlete, it's one thing when you're a star athlete or an athlete and your child is an athlete. Like when you had Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken Griffey Jr. is one thing. Mm -hmm. Now, when there's Michael Jordan and then Marcus and Jeffrey Jordan, mm -hmm. that's a different story. So, and we saw how Marcus and Jeffrey turned out when it came to ball. Marcus wasn't, Marcus was, he was all right. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey was like, I quit. <laughs> now, you take LeBron James and LeBron James Jr. And if I'm I I I get it. Naming your son after yourself is something you know as a man you might you may do. Right. LeBron, you didn't you didn't know you were gonna be this great. You didn't, you know, when nobody knew when we were watching on ESPN, we didn't know you was going to turn out like this. And when I say the boy got his own money, the boy got his own money. That like, crazy. like, <clears throat> so now your son is LeBron James Jr. He's Bronny. He's Bronny James. Like, don't be, I would, I would, if I could tell LeBron something, I would tell him, don't be upset or regret giving him your name because it's, you know, he's your son, he's your offspring. And not to mention the boy's balling. That's the scary part. When he said that, that's what I thought. I was like, I understand, I guess I get it. But then the scary part is okay. He might not follow up in my footsteps. It might be a hard road for him. But the fact that he seems to be doing quite well is fucking crazy. The boy is 13 years old and threw an alley-oop to himself and caught it and threw it down, not lightly, with a Thoritar. <laughs> not only 13, but how tall is he? Uh, five, nine and a half. Bunnies, bro. Bunnies. Listen, I'm 6'2". I'm barely touching the rim now. Bare, I'm talking about barely, barely. I'm talking about on a good day when my knee's not hurting and I took my vitamin D gummies, I can get up there. 
that boy getting up there easy. What's going on, Black? Black just rolled up in the room. Hop Dog said, me personally, I wanted my son to be a junior, but I feel like he's saying he put too much pressure on his son, uh, naming his son a junior. That is what he's saying. That's exactly what he feels like he may have made a mistake. Now, I do think that, honestly, this is just my opinion, with him opening the school, that's bigger pressure than following your dad's basketball footsteps. Mm -hmm. Your father set up a school that if it succeeds for any length of time could change the landscape of schools by black folks that have money. It's, it's going to change. First of all, it's going to change the city of Akron. Like that legacy, that's a motherfucker. Yeah, you've you've changed you've changed Northeast Ohio. Yeah. And the number one another thing you tend to forget Bryce, <laughs> he has yeah. another son. He got another son. And so, like, outside of basketball, because fuck basketball, right? That is that is what it is. Your legacy of not being able to be a fuck-up <laughs> because your dad has been a beacon since high school. No scandals. He married his high school sweetheart. He got in the league and did good. He used his money put forward to put other people through college. Now he built a school. You cannot be a fuck-up. You can't, like, when Rev run, when his son uh, got caught with the weed, everybody was like, damn. Multiply that a billion times. You can't do shit. You can't get no DUI. You can't get no girl pregnant. You can't, none of this shit because the legacy of what your father has done outside the court, fuck basketball, outside, off the court, the example that he set forward, if you fuck up, people going to be like, nigga. This is your dad. These are the resources you had. How did you fuck that up? Yeah. OG, what you got to say on the topic, brother? Uh, Y'all have pretty much said it all. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 no. It's all good. I mean, just amen to everything that you said. Um, It was interesting. I was actually listening to um, uh, the NBA channel, and they had John Thompson III on, and uh, mm -hmm. it was another uh, NBA player that um, Larry Drew II. Okay. Um, and they were talking about the same question. Um, and, uh, JT three said, you know, people ask me like, how does it feel to, you know, be the son? He was like, well, I don't know how to answer the question because I don't know anything else. Uh, and for him, you know, he didn't see it as a, as a burden, uh, in any way, shape or form. And so I, I can understand that part. But I absolutely, as a parent, um, I absolutely understand not wanting to put certain pressures on your children. Yeah. And from the standpoint of <clears throat> that clip that I saw when he said it, I, th I, I felt like it was absolutely, he felt like he was putting an undue burden on his son. He wasn't looking at it as ne not necessarily a curse, but an undue burden for his children that are already going to be burdened just because they're his children. So not only are you my son, the son of this iconic basketball player, uh, you know, philanthropist, you know, whatever, you know, moniker you want to tag him with um but if you have his name it's just like um i went to school with dexter king and i don't know if you know the king family well enough to know that dexter is the one that looks like yeah. his famous father mm -hmm. but his it's his other brother who really looks like his mama that actually has the name yeah um and I can remember when I was in school, we sitting around a dorm and having the conversation just about the burden of looking like such an iconic person. And that, and well, this is family, so I can say it. Dexter was out there and then. So oh, 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 He's not just a king out there in the streets. Yeah. He's a king with the ladies. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He, he was. He was. 
He was conquering all the kingdoms he could conquer. Hey, you know thanks to Adam talking about my goddamn son. <laughs> hey. I had a dream. I had a dream Facts. I was getting that booty. <laughs> Let me wax that ass. Let me wax that ass. Thank God I'm out of here. I'm going to wax that ass. <laughs> you know, on the, speaking of the, the topic that we got here, I feel like in a weird way, the moment that those people painted nigga on LeBron's garage door was the most beautiful thing that could have happened for him and his kids. Mm. Because he can have that conversation be like, look, look who the fuck I am. Look how we live. Look where we live. And look what they think about you. Always keep that shit with you. Yep. Always keep that memory, bro. That shit, like, it's fucked up. But it's so perfectly fucked up and flawed in the way this country is. Like, that moment right there, you couldn't even write that shit unless you was writing some kind of weird-ass Spike Lee movie. Bro, that shit is perfect. I would love to be at one of those AAU games because I know them AAU fans them AAU moms and dads be going in. I know they be going in. Like if you've if you've never been to an AAU game, that shit is madness. Especially when it's two top teams, that shit is madness. Is is Bronny the best player on that team? No. I that know. I saw another boy playing. He he plays. He wears number one or some shit. There's and I was watching them ball, and I was like, what the kids. fuck? There's two other kids that ball out. There's the one number one with the afro, with the nappy yeah. afro that yeah. goes ham. There's 22 who be dunking everything. And then you got that kid that looks like Shaq, look like he ate Shaq, who's like 6'10", <laughs> 300 pounds. Yeah, I never, I never been to an AAU game. You know, I was college prep, high school and shit. I did get to see a school that looked like an AAU team. Y'all won't, these names won't resonate with you. Caddy might be the only other person in this entire chat that'll get these names. But we had to play against Cardinal Ritter. And on the same team, they had uh, fucking uh, Chris Carrowell, they had Lauren Woods, and they had Jahadi White. Good God, Jahadi, we big Jahadi White. <laughs> yes. And, and we had to play them. And Chris Carrowell's arm was in a sling. And he split the lane and dumped with one arm and left by the second quarter. They was up by 35 points at the second quarter. He just left. He wasn't even supposed to be playing. This motherfucker had his... When I say in the sling, I'm not talking figuratively. I'm talking about a fucking sling. And he was playing ball with the fucking one arm. Listen. And he split the lame and dunked. And then Jahadi White used to cause havoc on the backboards. And Lauren Woods, because you're fucking seven feet tall, it was easy yeah. to be good at seven feet tall. And when you got Jahadi on one side and you got Lauren Woods on the other side... They used to whoop ass. I can only imagine seeing them cats when they're 13 and seeing these kids playing. Seeing like Zion Williamson. I saw him playing with, uh, they showed a highlight with him and some other cat from Duke. What the fuck? What are you supposed to do with these cats? These boys is crazy. But here's the thing. When we was younger, there were kids that we played with or we watched. Like, I grew up in New York City. I was watching Ron Artest play in high school. And yeah. Lamar Odom and Omar at that time, Omar Cook and Speedy Claxton and them guys was ruling the city. Felipe Lopez was running the city yeah. In, yeah. in New York back then. Like they was at Rice and playing Christ the King and everything like that. And like it was madness. So you you look at these guys back then. You look at the players we had in the nineties, and now yeah. you look at players like Zion. You look at Bronny at 13. You look at um they're freaks. Like fuck being good, they're freaks. The kid that goes to Minnesota now. Um Isaiah Washington, the kid that created the jelly. Freaks. Ridiculous. Freaks, bro. Sebastian Tailfair. Yeah, yeah. Freaks. Like that shit is crazy. So I can only imagine, you know, watching the AAU game or, or having LeBron. Imagine LeBron is your dad. The one-on-one -on -one drills got to be sick this gotta be sick and lebron right. still in my opinion still has never had a real coach i said it i don't give a shit he still ain't had a real coach now what you watching up here right now you're watching 13 year olds yeah this shit is crazy the 13 no and 14 year olds playing aau ball 
bro, when I say growing up in New York City in the 90s, watching AAU and high school teams, bananas. Watching Kenny Satterfield and... There it is. That's, that's ridiculous. ridiculous. Um, we got to wrap up this show, man. We were, we ran long. Uh, fellas, if fellas and ladies in the chat, if y'all have anything y'all want to hear us talk about, hit us up real quick. We're gonna wrap up the show now. Um, glad to be back. Glad that y'all are back with us. Glad y'all decided to rock with us. We know you got options, but thank you for kicking it with us. We appreciate the kick talk. It's real talk, real shit. Then Dewan Wagner just dropped a hundred back in back to back games of high school. Caddy, I don't remember. I think he he. Did drop a hundred in one game, but so did what's the name too? Um, Sharon Miller and I believe Lisa Leslie. What got what one hundred five? Yeah, but he's saying back to back games. That's that's crazy. That is crazy. Yo, it's crazy. You know what? Real quick, if y'all ever get a chance, look up a guy named Lenny Cook. Look up a guy named Lenny Cook. Lenny Cook was supposed to be the one. Lenny Cook was supposed to be the man. And Lenny Cook played in... Adidas used to have this ABCD tournament. And Lenny Cook played LeBron in that tournament. His team played LeBron. And LeBron bust his ass. <laughs> Bust his ass so bad it fucked Lenny Cook all up. LeBron probably giving the money anyway. Yeah, you gotta watch the documentary. Lenny Cook, Lenny Cook was nice, but when his team went against Bron, the Bron's team. Mm, like his like his documentary is, is crazy. It's called the Lenny Cook documentary. Oh, what is the name of it? I think that might be it. Uh, I think you could just look up Lenny Cook and it'll come up. All right, I'll check it's, it a, it's a dope documentary. Y'all got dope anything in the chat, Kick Talkers? Before we wrap it up, uh, while I'm waiting for the questions, remember next week will be the season finale. And then we're off for three weeks. We're not giving you that episode back. Shit happens. <laughs> we're still gone for three weeks. Cadillac, at least three weeks. I would say at least because Cadillac Jackson's getting married. And it would not be right for us to start another season without him being ready. So please be respectful of that man getting his life and new living arrangements together. And if it takes another week, it'll take another week. Please um, be respectful not, that my fiance is crazy as shit. So, you know, <laughs> if, if it ends up being another week, it'll be another week. We can work with Caddy on that. But the plan is to come back after a three week break. I think it's the first week of September. Is that right? Yes. So that's the plan is to be back then. But next week, we will have Des Customs on the show. We'll have Ricardo Bonner talking about those customs. We will talk about some more customs. My custom will have to be finished by then because I want to get a good grade from the teacher. Um, and we'll have some other topics from y'all as well as I will look through and comb and see what y'all are talking about this week on your YouTube channels and your Instagrams and see if we can pull another story or two from the Kit Talkers because that shit was fun. Real shit. That shit was fun. Um, we got to hear about OG's bad date. We got to hear about caddies almost going to jail. And I did it a horse. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that's good shit. Anniversary hey, t-shirts. What? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, what did Arte say? What did he say? What did he, he say? Says, he said, this shit ain't happening. That's what he said. That's what's up, Arte. $1,700. <laughs> Custom made ball and chain for Cadillac Jacks. <laughs> Listen, I, go I already... Play the nigga. I, I got the house arrest bracelet coming soon, boy. So we will be back next week. Thank y'all again. We really appreciate y'all for coming in the show, uh, kicking it with us. It's your man, Beard Jedi. I'm out. I ain't going to do all the AKAs right now. We'll see y'all next week. Cadillac Jackson, holler at the people, bro. Uh, once again, dope show. People, 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 people. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate y'all. Y'all don't really know how much we appreciate y'all coming back to watch us because we ain't shit. Um, but thank y'all, uh, soulmates, hot dog, all y'all. Thank y'all for the love regarding the wedding and everything like that. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next week, season finale. All right.
Season five ends up next week. Y'all know what to do. Same time, same place. We appreciate you. It's not nothing you can do with it. You done know it's your boy OG Sneakers. And we gone. Go do something else. Turn off the computer. We're done. See how you.